This is the night of Friday, October 14th, 1994. Good evening, my young people, welcome to the news. What's happening? Reports on consumer prices, retail sales, and industrial production showed that the economy is still expanding at a robust but slightly pace, while price pressures remain moderate. Consumer prices rose two tenths of one percent in September. Retail sales climbed six tenths of one percent, and industrial production was flat. Many working women feel that they are not getting the pay benefits or recognition they deserve. A new government survey shows. Shopping with a Visa card from a home credit may be made as secure as simple as using a credit card at a store under a system to be introduced by a startup company. First, virtual holders at San Diego. The system is initially intended for the sale of electronic documents and other information. Fox continued to be on the defensive as partner back down from its original plan to buy four TV stations. The partner, SF Broadcast, said it would be restructured and financed out of the company after a challenge from NBC. AST Research plans to cut jobs by 10% and close the factory in struggles with a price board personal computers. Nestle is now looking for expand expand new markets for foods and drinks after a decade of launch acquisitions. The FCC settled a dispute involving Motorola's satellite project and decision is a step toward a private global satellite systems that will lay calls via handheld wireless telephones. Toys R Us said it would stop selling any toy gun that could be modified to look like the real thing. Yeah? A takeover by Little by New York State could be a good for a rate of payers and a good for the company which faces an uncertain future and it loses its monopoly status. The chairman of the Russian Central Bank resigned a day after saying that Ruble's plunge was no reason for him to quit. Stock events, chemical issues were strong gainers while some technology stocks fell. The Dow Jones closed up 20.52 points. The Dow weakened against our leading currencies falling to the 1994 lows against the mark and the pound. Orange juice prices surged and men concerned that a dry weather in Brazil was damaging the world's largest orange crop. Coffee prices, however, fell on a report of a rain in the Brazilian state. Treasury securities rose for a second day of buying encouraged by the report on consumer prices. The increase in the consumer price index means for one that some 50 million people who received the social security and other federal benefits will receive 2.8% more than next year, but the index affects virtually every citizen in some way. The tax paperwork for hiring entities will be streaming that under a bill passed by Congress last week. The bill comes a year and a half after Zoe Baird's nomination for Attorney General was still derailed by her failure to pay taxes for two household workers and after a popular couple of changes in a complex law. Investors can make a straight bet on interest rates, which interest the debate. So Our rate based options, these options which are key to the 13 week, 5 year, 10 year, 30 year treasury yields, including no rents over the treasury securities. To rate it all, low cost checking accounts will be mandatory in New York under a rule passed by state regulators such basic and left line banking accounts are already required to in several states. Sucks, Dow Jones closed about 3910.47 up 2052. Doll, 9, 8, 10 yen, then doll, quarter yen. Oil 69.7 down 16 cents and bonds 7.83 percent down 0.02 percent. That's coming in now. Let's put for this October 14th, 1994 Friday. I hope you have a good night and good weekend. I'll see you Monday. Bye bye for now. Air.